Hello. Thank you for visiting. We're SK Advisory, one of the international trade and customs consulting companies in Japan. We're a company in Japan, providing trade and customs consulting services to the companies who import or export from or to Japan. Also, we provide a CP, attorney for customs procedures service to non-resident importers including Amazon's international sellers. We'd like to introduce you with useful information regarding international trade and customs issues in Japan. Let's move to today's topic. In this video, let us briefly talk about the FTA, Free Trade Agreement, and how to use FTA when you trade with a company locates in Japan. FTA is an abbreviation for Free Trade Agreement. FTAs are bilateral or multilateral agreements that aim to accelerate trade and investment through the elimination of tariffs. In Japan, the term EPA, Economic Partnership Agreement, is often used as a synonym, but from the perspective of eliminating tariffs, FTA and EPA are almost same thing. Currently, as of January 2022, there are 20 FTAs available in Japan. Since 2000, the Japanese government has been very active in increasing the number of partner countries. Recently, there has been a rise in the number of mega FTAs with huge economic regions such as RCEP, TPP11, and E Japan. The merit of an FTA is straightforward, it is a reduction of tariffs. If you do not use an FTA, you will have to pay tariffs based on the WTO tariff rate in most of the cases. Not for all products but basically, if you use an FTA, you will be able to import with lower tariff rate. In order to use FTA, the imported goods must be originating goods. People often misunderstand that if a product is mark made in country's name, it can be treated as originating goods. Actually, made in, does not mean the goods is originating product. Whether the goods are originating or not is determined by the rule of origin, which speculated in each FTA agreement. Also, please bear in mind that the rule of origin varies depending on the HS code. This specific rule set in individual HS code is called as product specific rule, PSR. So what steps are required to use FTA? The first action is to check the HS code of the goods. Using this HS code, next action is to check the WTO tariff rate and FTA preferential rate when using FTA. If you can confirm that there is an advantage when you use FTA, then third step is to check the product specific rule, PSR, to see whether the product can be originating goods or not. If you can confirm that the product can be considered an originating product, the final step is to prepare a certificate of origin. In each country, there is a certain authority to issue the Certificate of Origin. For instance, in Japan, the Certificate of Origin is issued by the Japan Chamber of Commerce JCCI. Some FTAs allow the exporter or importer to prepare the certificating document by him herself. Once ready for the documentation, the exporter sends the Certificate of Origin to the importer and the logistics provider who will manage import clearance and requesting the clearing agent to proceed import clearance by using FTA. For more information, please feel free to contact us as we can support all the necessary preparation to use FTA for your trading business. Thank you for watching this video. Lastly, let us conclude by mentioning our company's strengths. Firstly, we became an official attorney for Customs Procedures Service Provider in Amazon SPN, Service Provider Network, as we have experience in supporting many import projects. Secondly, we are a group of customs professionals. CEO, was a customs specialist at a big four firm, then started SK Advisory to continuously work on customs related matters. As for FTA, we have a plenty of experience to support multinational companies all over the world. Lastly, we prioritize compliance. Maintaining the service quality with full compliance with customs law, as well as FTA's origin compliance operations. Please feel free to contact us at any time. You can find the URL link of the contact form in the following descriptions. For more information, check other videos and visit our website. There is plenty of information about importing to Japan on our website, so please take advantage of it. Thank you, see you next time.